Hey guys, it's Lori from Homestead Windows. I just thought I'd give you a couple tips on mistakes that people sometimes make when they are doing their window treatments. One of my biggest pet peeves with draperies is first of all, making them too short. I know back in the day we used to make them windowsill height, but it just cuts the window off. Definitely go to the floor. Um, it always just looks prettier and more finished. Um, if you have space above your window frame, you should absolutely bring that rod up to make the window look taller. And it just brings the ceilings up as well. And when you're doing a bay window that has a soffit above it, people tend to do draperies on the inside of the bay window, but you should really do it on the outside on the soffit. It really brings your eye up and doesn't make the window look so squat. Another one with draperies is the liner. Um, liner is key. Usually on draperies, we do a blackout liner. It just gives it some bulk. Doesn't let the light through. Not that you're necessarily looking for a blackout because most of the time it's just a stationary panel on the side. Um, but it just, you don't want to see the light through it with the seams and the fold over. It just kind of looks more custom. It also, yeah, if you don't put a liner at all, that also just looks like you just bought it, you know, at Bed Bath & Beyond and it's not the custom that you're, you know, investing in. Another one with draperies is when you use hardware that's just too big and chunky on an eight foot ceiling. Hardware that's three inches in diameter with big finials really belongs on a like 15 to 20 foot ceiling. It kind of gets lost up there. So if you do something small, it would be gone. So you really need to do something big when it comes to a window that tall. When you do it on an eight foot ceiling, it just looks like it's overpowering the whole room. So you want to stay something, you know, like two inches and under for a smaller height ceiling. So as long as you have space on both sides of the window moldings, I would definitely do a larger rod so that the drapery panels hang off of the window a bit. It just makes the window look bigger and it covers less of the glass. Is when you're doing a valance over a window, putting it right on the molding so it's covering most of the glass of the window. I try to bring it up as much as possible. Obviously we don't want it to look silly and we don't want it totally on the wall and not covering any of the window. It has to, the bottom of it has to come down just to the bottom of the molding or if there's a shade under there enough that it's covering the shade and that way it makes your windows look taller. Different patterns in a room. You absolutely can mix and match a lot of different patterns but you want to keep the ones that are kind of similar. Like you don't want two florals in the room or two plaids in the room. You can do a floral, a plaid, a stripe, a solid. You could definitely bring a little bit of everything in, but just one of each. Don't be repetitive with your pattern. When it comes to blinds, the biggest um, regret I'm seeming to find with clients these days is not ordering it with power view. If you want the power view, yes, it is a little bit more expensive, just do it because you will regret it in the long run. Those are the design mistakes you should avoid. All right guys, so if you want to set up a consultation, give us a call right down here and let us know. We'd love to work with you.